Hello, I'm Lyle Menard. Welcome to the Seaman Company Data Center Showcase, located here in Watertown, Connecticut. Seaman cabinets were designed specifically to manage cabling and improve thermal efficiency within the data center. Seaman Company offers three varieties of cabinets, the Versapod, the V800, and the V600, which we'll talk about in more detail. I have this cabinet configured as a core cabinet, typically the area of the data center that has the highest concentration of cabling. Cable management in a cabinet like this is critical. The Versapod is designed with recessed frames that come off the face of the cabinet and the side of the cabinet, creating what we refer to as zero U spaces. This is an area between bayed cabinets where I have a variety of products that can live in this space. In this case, I'm utilizing it for vertical cable management. Something that I need in this core cabinet to handle the volume of cabling that's going to be contained within here. Utilizing that vertical cable management to take those patch cords off the switch in one direction and dressing it up through the management into the angled patch panels. I prefer to use angled patch panels in this situation because one, it allows me to dress the patch cords directly into the management and not eat up valuable rack space with horizontal cable managers. As you can see here, I can get a tremendous amount of density in this space and still only utilize a small portion of the real estate of the cabinet. The zero-use space created by baying cabinets together also provides me with the real estate I need to mount a baffle system for side breathing switches. This directs the air from the cold aisle into the side of the switch and the same baffle installed on the opposite side of the switch directs the hot exhaust air out into the back of the cabinet. One of the key features of the Seaman Company Versapod Zero-U panels is accessibility. Obviously in the beginning of the project these cabinets are empty, technicians are allowed to climb inside of these to run their cables to put in that infrastructure. But what happens after the fact? I've got this box filled with gear. I need to access a port here, maybe to add a cable and to maybe make a repair. Our zero-U panels are secured in four corners the way you would mounting any type of a patch panel. But once those screws are removed, these zero-U panels are allowed to slide out, giving the technician access in through the side to make that modification. And when they're done, re-secure the panel. Another core cabinet within the data center is the SAN cabinet. SAN stands for Storage Area Network. Very much like the core cabinet we looked at earlier, which typically has a high concentration of copper cabling, the SAN cabinet typically has a higher concentration of fiber cabling. We utilize the same vertical cable management configuration we just looked at, coming off of a SAN director switch, and then those fiber cords are dressed up through the cable management, just like the copper cords, up to fiber enclosures, and in this case, our high density light stack, which has the capability of supporting up to 864 fibers in a single 1U enclosure. The light stack ultra high density plug and play system consists of a 1U enclosure with three individual trays. Each of these trays holds a series of plug and play modules that provide the density up to 144 strands of LC terminated fiber as you see here or by utilizing MTP adapter places I have configured here I can increase the density to 864 strands in a single 1U enclosure. We're going to talk about now how the Versapod can be used in the server environment. As you can see I have a cabinet configured with servers mounted on the back side. One of the unique features of the Versapod cabinet is the door operation. As you can see we have our standard wardrobe style doors to get to our equipment, but we also have that zero use space that I referred to earlier. With the Versapod, I can close down the doors of a single cabinet, step between adjoining cabinets, opening up the adjacent doors to access the zero use space. In this case, the zero use space is being utilized for the communication requirements for these servers, feeding the equipment to the left and to the right. This particular panel holds three 19 inch rack mount anything provides the customer with a tremendous amount of flexibility. In this case, I happen to have copper patch panels in here, but these could house fiber, power, active equipment if need be. As long as it's 19 inch rack mount and no more than three U tall, I can install it here. By positioning the infrastructure in the zero use space on the side of the cabinet, this allows me not only to free up more cabinet space for active equipment, but it also allows me to use shorter one meter, three foot long patch cords to get from the devices to the communication ports. Typically in a server environment, a patch panel would be located here at the top of the cabinet with long patch cords coming off the panel, hanging down behind all the equipment, plugging into all the various devices. 
these patch cords would block the cabinet's ability to exhaust hot air off the back of the servers. Same thing would apply to the power cords. The other key feature of the zero use space that we create within the Versapod is for power distribution. As you can see here, I have bracketry that allows me to mount a couple of my intelligent PDUs, in a sense providing me A and B power for the servers in this cabinet. Once again, very much like with the cable management and the infrastructure patching that we looked at earlier, I'm capturing that infrastructure in this passive space between bait cabinets. I've got myself clear access to my equipment, allowing my power cords to come off the PDUs directly to the devices that they need to feed. The Siemens company manufactures a wide variety of PDUs from basic power strips all the way up to unit as you see here which is fully managed. Another key consideration when choosing a cabinet is thermal efficiency. The cabinet as equipped next to me here supports about 7 to 8 kilowatts of heat load. If you needed more than that the cabinet can be reconfigured with the ducted chimney system and solid rear doors. This increases the thermal efficiency of the cabinet to 13 kilowatts, more than a 50% increase. To this point, we've been talking about the Versapod data center cabinet, but some customers, due to space constraints, are limited to using 24-inch wide cabinets. That's why we developed the V600. After the development of the V600 cabinet, we quickly realized that there was an opportunity to create a mid-range cabinet, something that took the commodity aspects of a V600 cabinet, but gave the customer that cable management aspect that they were really looking for in the data center. Therefore, we developed the V800 cabinet with the added benefit of some level of zero U cable management, patching, and power distribution as you see here. The key feature is getting that infrastructure very much like with Versapod, getting that key infrastructure out into this passive space outside the equipment rails, allowing me access to my equipment in here and potential for a lot more equipment density. Another design option is to move the infrastructure out of the cabinet into a rack system secured above the cabinet. We do this utilizing the cable tray rack. This is a rack system that's available in two, four, and six U heights that actually secures, in this case, to a basket tray system. Mounting options are available also for ladder tray systems. These are really helpful for customers who may have the money in their budget day one for their infrastructure, but down the road will be getting their cabinets and equipment later. This allows them to put the infrastructure in day one and as their data center grows, roll the cabinets up underneath it and as I've done here, run the patch cords down into the cabinet to plug into the devices. As part of an overall data center product offering, the Siemens company also offers Routit, a wire basket tray system. In this case, it happens to be the black powder coat version. It's available in a galvanized version. A variety of depths and widths and accessory items. As you can see here, I have a waterfall feature that allows the cable to transition out of the basket tray into the many openings available in the lids of the Versapod, V600, and V800 cabinets. Routed is also available in an underfloor system that simply snaps into the 2x2 grid system of the computer room raised floor. The data center showroom is also a showcase for our entire catalog of products ranging from category 6 all the way up to 7A copper systems, all of our fiber OM3, OM4 and single mode, factory terminated trunk assemblies, high density patching solutions and cable management products. Thank you for your time. If you want to learn more about the Siemens company and the products that we offer, please visit our website www.siemen.com.